First Person Series with your host, Fred Brown, with guests Carlina Costa, Andrew Benedict, and Ryan Crossman, with special guest Jimmy Kimmel. What's up, America? Welcome. I am Fred Brown, your host, and you are here for the inaugural show of First Person Series. It's a brand new show that's of, about, and for you, the community. We're about to turn it up and get this party started. Now, it's part variety. You're going to have funny, comedic sketches. We're also going to have some serious conversations. And we're going to put it all together so that mostly, when you come out of here, you're going to be having some fun. Let's talk some politics. We know that uh, the president and the whole family are on their way back on a jet to uh, the south side of Chicago, but that leaves the White House seat open. And there's three people that everyone seems to be focusing on right now that's top candidates. Hillary, we got her, we know her. Ben, we're going to get to know him. Ben Carson, that is. But the guy who seems to be getting all the media attention is the richest man in the country, and that's Donald Trump. So go Donald. Donald knows how to work the media. I don't know what, what he's saying half the time, but he really does know his angles. But if I was on Donald's advisory team, I'd remind him that it's half of what you talk about and half of your own image. So Mr. Trump, if I could offer you a piece of advice, before we have to look at you for another nine months, please take a visit down to Fulton Street to one of the corner stores, mom and pop, and buy yourself a brand new toupee. That's, that's all we're asking. Just get a new rag on the top of your head. We've had our staff go down there and they price out now at $14.95. Finally, uh, check out languaging. There's a lot of talk about sex and sexuality. Could someone tell me, and I read something recently in the Huffington Post, what is scolio sexual what is a scolio sexual like somebody came to me and defined themselves and said hi i'd like i'm interested in you i'm a scolio sexual i'd be like hi i'm leaving and i'm going in the opposite direction <laughs> why do we have all these categories and names for sex and sexuality i mean there is asexual means you don't want to have any at all okay that's a problem there is a aromatic sexual i guess that means that you want um, scented candles in order to get aroused there's a gray sexual here we go, send me your tweets, I'm available. But the bottom line here is that they've come up with another name called scoliosexual, which apparently is not attractive to anything at all. Medical community, stay out of our bedrooms, stay out of our business. We want to do whatever we want to do. My advice, have sex, make it safe, make some babies, and enjoy your life. So <laughs> that's it for my top picks. What we're going to do now is Moving to our first guest on First Person. She is a student, a filmmaker, a geek, a gamer, all that bundled into one beautiful picture that we have here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are introducing now Colleen Acosta. Colleen, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Welcome to First Person Series. Thank you. So uh, you're a senior in uh, Brooklyn College studying yeah. film. How does it feel to be on your last leg, although this is uh, not the first time you're doing stuff? Yeah, um, it's kind of scary and nerve-wracking, but um, I can't wait to see what's after college and the works I'll be doing. Well, congratulations. The work of this talented young filmmaker. Uh, tell us about the film itself and the basic premise before we see the clip. And the film you're going to see is Video Games in Real Life, which I shot last year. Um, I directed and, and wrote the screenplay. And it's about a kid who has a power to go into video game worlds. And he doesn't know he has that power, and he's trying to escape it. Well, superwoman, uh, student, <laughs> soon-to-be entrepreneur, uh, there's nothing left except to take a look at this clip of Colleen Acosta's film called Video Games versus Real Life. Let's take a look. Jesus. Mary. Joseph. Zelda? Thank you. I'm so happy you're here. I was gonna die. That 
was pretty impressive. Wow, it looks Thank like you. a lot of work went into that. I'm so yeah. proud of you. you. Um, so give us a little bit of idea of the process, soup to nuts. You started two years ago. There's a crew that you wrote the script. You forgot about what, what, How did it all come about to what we just saw? I started with the first episode called Anime vs. Real Life, and that's mm -hmm. where it all began. And then I decided to do a second episode, which is what we saw. Mm -hmm. And I, it's a series that's been uh, ongoing. Sorry, sorry, one second. Okay. What? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? What are you talking about? We're live television. I have a guest. So just one second. Sorry, public. Okay. I know, but like we're live. Our audience, I have a guest sitting here. Just just one second. Uh -huh. Security. What? Okay, help me out here. The Acosta family is out front N drinking what? rum. No, no, no. Whatever, because they not... said that she could come on the set for the... No, hold on. Did, hold on. Did you, did no, you no, that's invite not true. family? No, uh, no, no. It's not a party. It's no, a show. It, no, I... I, I'm, I'm so sorry. What? Are you serious? Okay. That, that's all you needed to say. Um, all right. All right. Um, so it was a pleasure to meet you. Uh, we uh, want you to tune in at another time for the first person series. There's a little bit of a security uh, issue. And when that happens in Brooklyn, New York, or anywhere in New York, and they tell you to get out, you get out mm -hmm. ASAP. Um, good luck, Colleen, and uh, talk to you later. I'm in Miss Dret! Hi, Dret! Okay. Oh, hey, cuz. Um, no, I'm Brittany. Yeah, where are you going? Hey, everyone. I'm Brittany, and that's Miss Dret, and this is our show now. Say, Miss Dret, what do you think we get into our first segment? Sounds like a good deal. Let's go over to Brittany's splaining couch. That real life. Do leather. it. I don't walk as fast as you. It's because you're little, Miss Dret. Hey, Mr. Rat. Hi. So tell me, what do you think about the presidential election this year? Like, what do you think about Donald Trump? Like, do you think that he has any real political ambitions, or do you think this is just like a big prank he's pulling? Like, do you think this is punk, and he's Ashton Kutcher, and the country is Justin Bieber getting pulled over by a fake yeah. cop? Well, I, um... Or I, do you think I, it's even just more an uh, attention thing, and he's like a little kid, and he's like, look, Mom, I'm on TV. Look, Mom, I'm going to mm -hmm. run for president. Watch me run for president, Mom. Look, Mom, watch me run for president. Look, Mom, it's your baby boy, Donald. Look at me, watch me run for president, Mom. Well, you know, Brittany, I support Bernie Sanders. Hmm, okay. But speaking of moms, did you call her yours on her birthday? <laughs> Mr. Rat, why would you bring that up? I thought she was getting you a job at Stop and Shop. I got fired, Mr. Rat. Oh. My boss said I smelled like rubbing alcohol. Well, why, why don't you try to get a new job? And then you could call your mom and tell her. You're right, Mr. Rat. I'll volunteer for the Trump campaign, and then I can take him down from the inside. Oh, boy. <laughs> the silly-looking mouth that you saw are actually our two guests who are sitting here on our couch. Hello, funny guys. Hey, Fred. How are hey, Fred. you? Welcome to First Person Series. And you are Andrew Benedict. And you are Ryan Crossman. Yes. Alias, Drunk Brittany, and The Rat. Welcome welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for you having guys, me. So that whole interruption thing was like, hilarious. <laughs> um, but I understand that this is what you do. So tell us a little bit about your, your background, and, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, well, we met uh, at the People's Improv Theater, um, okay. which sounds communist, but it's not. It's, uh, it's a little improv theater on 24th Street, and we were doing some f weird stuff there, and uh, kind of just... <laughs> you know, it wasn't that weird. What, what, okay. So, oh, well, the thing with this, if you ever pay attention to movies, a lot of comedians have very strong uh, forearms. Don't so do this I think like eight the forearm. The funnier... You are the stronger your arms are. Okay, but that doesn't look like a rat to me. That looks like. Well, you know, you can't always voice. be a rat, Fred. Okay. Uh huh. So you met at. Obviously, you are improvisational actors or comedians, as they said, and you met at this improv theater, which has a sure. uh, pretty great uh, reputation. And everything that you're doing right now is right in time for Halloween. Uh -huh. So. What is it that you learned in sort of that class that led you to kind of start doing this uh, on the road? I feel like I learned to tap into my spirit animal. 
Which is the rat. That's Your true. Animal. Animal. That, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryan's always been a rat at heart. It's okay. like a, a totem. Yeah. And I've always been a girl with a beard. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So All right. It kind of was true. a perfect union. All right. I remember saying that when I first met you. Yeah. It was like you're... Well, I know. You did say that. Okay. Well, we do thank you all for coming out, literally. Um, <laughs> with that... Uh, part of what you're doing, though, is building relationships. It's not like you guys grew up in drama class. Tell us how you sort of met and, and, and then how these characters came about. Yeah, neither of us were, were actors before this. Um, we just, well, I moved to the city for comedy and... Uh, from where? From Rhode Island. Rhode Island. I moved here about four and a half years ago. Okay. And I've just been doing uh, shows and... Meeting people and making them do videos as puppets. Wow. Sure. And yourself, right? Uh, same same thing. I, I moved to New York with, with hopes of expanding my uh, creative breath, I suppose. And I'm more interested in storytelling now at this point. But if you know, if someone wants me to be a puppet, I, I'm, I'm no. open to that. Yeah. How, how do you say no to that? Okay. Andrew, I'm going to have to ask you to take this orange juice off of my set. I'm sorry. Um, but you're, we want to make sure that you know that this is a warm and inclusive place, but this is all, so. all, all done by our design team. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, no, design team. just teasing. Uh, so you guys, you know, country boys or whatever, come to the city and, you, and you're country. doing improv. <laughs> Rhode Island is the country the last time I looked on, the, on the, the map of the United States of America. Uh, that said, though, we, we love you. But, but Brooklyn is a place for all. So you uh, both live here now and you've lived in different places. What is it about the quote unquote Brooklyn flavor that has uh, allowed you to uh, be the creative uh, spirits that you are. Uh, I just love that there's so many different things going on, and there's always you can always find a different place to go. You can always meet a new person, try different food, go to a different bar. There's just uh, it just never ends, and there's uh, you can always find a place to to meet like-minded people. Yeah, I, th I think it's an it's an open place. You you can. You know, we all judge each other, but Brooklyn is kind of open and welcoming to all different types of people. So even if you're in a dress or a little rat puppet, people accept that. And, mm. you know, we'll kind of give you a minute. I like your dress, by the way. It matches your... Thanks. I'll tell my girlfriend you liked it. All right. It's hers. Does she know <laughs> that you're wearing it or... Yep. Yeah, I woke her up this morning and said, hey, I need some of your clothes to wear. I got to go be on TV. Beautiful. I'm so glad that we live in an open society. <laughs> um, speaking of open societies, there's a there's a lot going on, and, and improv is non scripted, right? And, right. And right. sort of it, it, a lot of what I remember about it is that it tends to you have to have organic, and then it's chemistry, thinking on your feet, etc. Uh, what What do you all consider to be? Um, you know your 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 best learning experience so far. Like, how has it changed you? Um, it just makes you more, uh, open to stuff and there's less, uh, there's a whole thing like follow the fear and kind of don't be afraid to fail mm -hmm. and just kind of go out uh, and, and if you want to wear a dress in front of a, a crew of 15 people that you met this morning, you just got to go for it. Yeah. Improv is all about saying yes. So when your friend is like, put this puppet on. You, you just say yes and yeah. and do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And so, <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of nuggets, folks, that we can use from that. Follow your fear and don't be afraid to fail. You know, and who knew that just jumping out there with something like improvisational theater could really help with that. Thank you for that. That's something that sure, we can sure. all take away. So what's up next? What's on the horizon in terms of your performances? Uh, up next, I have a play uh, called Orphan Action League in the Bad Theater Festival happening at the Pit Loft on okay. o October 30th and November 6th. It's kind of like a Justice League superhero story, but all the superheroes are orphans. That sounds cool. Yeah. Okay. And yourself? I'm, I'm actually going to uh, try to ride a bicycle across the country for a while. So that's my, my next big plan. Okay. It has nothing to do with comedy. That's your next big follow your fear adventure. Absolutely, well, yeah. You guys are fearless in our eyes and, and pretty adventurous, and we really, really appreciate you for being 
our special guests on First Person. And we're going to have to end the show. And thank you for joining us. Any last words for Brooklyn? Lastly, Fred, I'd like to uh, give you a little shirt with Aww. Mr. Rat on it with his little catchphrase. I spilled some orange juice on it, but Aww. that's just going to make it smell delightful. You guys are so cool. Holy crap. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Well, this is what happens. We give lots of love uh, when we are on this show. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank Andrew Benedict and Ryan Crossman. They are drunk, Brittany, and the rat. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, and uh, we'll be back with more. So we brought you a little bit of sketch comedy, a little bit of conversation, and a whole lot of fun. Why? That's because... This is what we do here at our first person series, and we really want to thank you for joining us. And we are nothing without our audience. However, our apologies to Jimmy Kimmel. We ran out of time. <laughs> That's going to be it for our show today. Be sure to tune in the next time. You can also hashtag us at hashtag first person. I'm Fred Brown, your host. We had so much fun. Thanks for joining us. And remember, this is the place where your voice matters first. See you next time. Yes, no. Take. Finish line. Touchdown. Yay. Awesome. Thanks, guys.